Hey there guys, Remember 2 r here. So, not that long ago, um, Dauntless released some pre-alpha footage of their gameplay. We're gonna sit here, watch it, check it out. Um, I gotta say, so far, it's looking pretty cool. Um, from, from what we can see from this video so far, it's definitely got that Monster Hunter Dark Souls feel to it. Um, a mixture of, you know, slashing, dodging, no blocking, you know, Monster Hunter doesn't have blocking. The animations, though, are already, like, really nice, like, really fluid, especially the slashing animations with the axes. Um, the Shrike design, finally after getting to see it in game, the Shrike looks really awesome. Um, they did really well on the noises, too. Uh, it's, the game already looks like it's gonna be really friggin' awesome. The, the graphics are just... The art, not the graphics, but the art direction is just already, you can tell from this game, but the art direction is really unique and it's really cool because of that. Um, honestly, I can't, I can't wait. The game's already looking like it's going to be incredible. Going over the specifics, per se, we'll notice at the beginning of the video, um, he's doing charged attacks. Looking at, if I'm looking at this right, those charged attacks are the Aether attacks. So, I don't know if they're going to be elemental anymore still, but they are the charged attacks by the looks of it. So, it's definitely kind of disappointing, because that means that, oh, now there won't be elements. I mean, they can still technically add in elements, because, you know, just add it into the charged attacks, but I really feel like that'd be weird. Either way, it is pretty cool that they've done this, so that's that's just that the eight attacks are really cool. The combat, again, it just looks really nice. It looks like <sighs> going into theater mode. Like screw it. Just have, there's so much problems with full screen right now. I don't know why, but um, yeah. So it's definitely looking like the game the game just looks really good um there's a couple things that already are bugging me from this footage it's main it's one of the things is mainly this the rapid slashing from the two-handed sword i just think that it looks really gross just having them go qua 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 it's like it looks like a toddler smacking around a giant owl that is literally what it looks like and I can already tell you that needs a fix. I'm also not a fan that the moment that you stop swinging, he just sheaths the sword. I really feel like the two-handed sword shouldn't be put back. Like, you shouldn't be putting it away every time you're done swinging it. Um, I really hope that it doesn't stay what they want to do with it. It just doesn't look really dumb. Um, I can't... Maybe it's just... Maybe he gets a critical or something, but right here you notice that he times his hit. And it makes the strike fall over and I'm, so I'm wondering if that means that if we hit the monsters when they're doing a certain attack it puts with while they're in a helpless state like you can knock them over if that's the case that's pretty cool um already this is very nice though this gives us kind of a look at how the strike's going to be played it doesn't show us the frenzied form because that's one thing they did say that there is a frenzied form once you damage an enemy enough they go into like a frenzied monster form and their attacks change up so this gives us kind of a base look at, you know, just the regular strike, what it's going to be like. Already, the game, it's, again, though, the re the game's looking great. This is, like, these are some really good updates. Um, this is some awesome in-game footage. Um, I just got to say that this is, this is shaping up to be really awesome. The community's being really great. Um, the developers, the developers are awesome. All of you guys are awesome. Um, our community manager, Crash. Crash, you were probably one of the best community managers I have ever had. The pleasure of being in the community for. Like, honestly, you are incredible. You interact with us so often. You really try your best to make things fun in the Discord chat. Like, you... You're, you're just top. Um, same with GTES and the rest of the developers. All trying to give us as many updates as they can be as just transparent as they can for this game. It's it's a wonderful, 
it's exactly what this game needs is transparency between the company and the players and they are doing incredible so from me to the devs to the community team like thank you guys for putting together this incredible community and this incredible game this there, there is a lot of excitement behind this i am so happy to be a part of this community i'm so happy to see the community evolve as it has and it's just it's it's stunning to see how much like just how many people are already like you know starting to become a part of this game starting to just fall in love with it i mean i'm definitely one of them this game is looking absolutely insane um already i'm definitely thinking about using the axe or the two-handed sword um, I'm really, like, I'm really trying to keep my options open because God knows what other weapons are going to be released. So I'm, like, kind of, like, trying to really like, not excite myself too much for one weapon because, who knows, another really cool weapon can be showed off later and stuff like that. Um, the, the characters themselves, though, do actually kind of look pretty different. And so I'm really hoping that's a sign that we're able to customize our characters a lot. Like, please, let that be the case. Character customization, like I've said in the past many times. We need to be able to customize our characters as much as we want. We need to be able to tether them to our looks. We want our characters to be an extension of ourselves. That's the important part. Immersion. Um, although it does really look like that it's way too easy to stun the boss and the monsters. I'm really hoping that this is just like this is a look at like kind of like maybe like the story mode version where it's just gonna be a lot easier because even, even even in monster hunter most monsters that are for the story are always easier um but yeah it definitely looks good it's definitely looking great i can definitely see pvp being a pretty big thing in this too like if it's as fluent as this it's definitely gonna be a pretty skill based come like matchup between players it won't be like oh what we're using the bigger weapon so that's it's pretty cool if PvP is a thing, I don't even know if it is. It's been talked about. Anyways, I hope you guys are excited with this footage as I am. This is really cool and really awesome. Um, again, I'm going to leave a link to the description down below and all that fun stuff. And if you enjoyed, like, favorite, and subscribe. If you didn't, well, that's unfortunate. But have a wonderful day.